Good morning everybody. This is Rajan Babu from NRLM NMMU. I am part of the financial inclusion team. I welcome you all to our interest subvention demonstration today. I will walk you through the SSG Bank Linkage portal for the next 10 minutes. Let us build a poverty free India through National Rural Livelihood Mission. Here is the link to access the SSG Bank Linkage portal. Please copy paste this link on your web browser to access your SSG Bank Linkage website. For better accessing the portal, please use either Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. This slide gives you a preview of NRLM Bank Linkage website come portal. The top left menu gives you the option to choose from the home page, report page and login page. First, I will explain about accessing reports. Please choose the top left menu called reports from the NRLM Bank Linkage portal. As you can see the menu, there are six sub-reports on the report menu. Please choose R3, Interest Subvention from the drop-down. When you click the Interest Subvention reports, there are two sub-reports, Interest Subvention Estimation, Interest Subvention Eligibility. The Interest Subvention Estimation report calculates the amount of interest subvention assuming all the SRGs as NRLM compliant SRGs. The interest subvention eligibility report gives the actual calculation of interest subvention amounts for the SRGs marked as NRLM compliant by the SRLM. The interest subvention disbursement to the SRGs should be done based on the interest subvention eligibility report only. Let us first select interest subvention estimation report. Interest subvention estimation report has two options bank wise and geography wise. Now we will move to interest subvention eligibility report. Please click on the interest subvention eligibility report. Interest subvention eligibility report also has two options bank wise and geography wise. As I mentioned earlier, I have selected bank wise option under interest subvention estimation which has been highlighted on the previous slide. This slide gives you a brief overview of bankwise interest subvention estimation report. This report is on monthly basis which includes details such as total load, eligible amount of interest subvention. I hope the bankwise interest subvention estimation demo was clear. Now let's see the geography wise interest subvention estimation report generation. This slide shows the highlighted options of geography wise interest subvention estimation. This slide shows a sample of State-wise interest subvention estimation request. The report contains total loan, eligible loan for interest subvention, month-wise interest subvention calculation month-wise and total interest subvention amount. Now we are moving to marking NRLM compliant SRG.
for marking nrm compliant sg now i am selecting r4 report from the reports drop down that is nrlm status of sgs the nrlm status of sg report can be generated geography wise so please choose the geography wise option as shown this slide shows a sample geographic wise nrlm status of sgs mapping report the report can be filtered based on the category using the category pick list the report includes details such as total outstanding loan accounts total sgso accounts percentage of completion and unmapped loan accounts for each state and union territories please note capital subsidy avail sg loans and non nrlm compliant sg loans are not eligible to avail interest subvention i hope you are clear with the report generation now let's see the login details the login option is on the top left side of the linkage portal choosing the login option it takes you to a login page in that login page please use your district user id and password once you log in automatically your username will appear on the top right side of the linkage portal as shown now you select nrl message mapping from the top left menu as shown on the slide after clicking the nrl message mapping now the state and the district details will appear on the top left corner as shown just below the main menu the table shows the bank details along with the total number of sgs here you could see for your state for the particular district bank wise total number of sgs and nrl compliant marking is a no use this table to select your particular bank in this case i have selected bank of baroda when i selected bank of baroda this table displays the details about the bank of baroda branches and their total number of sgs for the particular district now i am selecting shravani branch of maharashtra state nandurbar district this slide shows in detail the several sgs availed loan with the bank of baroda shravani branch of maharashtra state their loan amounts etc the last column on the table also shows if the sg is nrm compliant or not as you can see on slide highlighted with red arrows then you save the report now you can change your password or log out by using the my account menu as shown to download the interest subvention report please log in using the state login id this slide shows interest subvention download so please select is download from the menus to download your reports as shown
the reports are available only for category 2 districts category 2 is auto selected by the system you may select the month as february the selected month is the month during which nrm compliant sgs are marked select date as 7 and click go you can see two banks canara bank and indian overseas bank on the screen this shows the interest subvention report for the SRGs marked NRM compliant on the selected date here on 7th. You can download the interest subvention report for each bank till the selected date from the download menu. The report will get generated in an Excel format as shown. Now, the interest subvention report is generated and downloaded. Please give the downloaded report to the nodal bank along with the covering letter requesting them to transfer the interest subvention amount to the respective SRG loan accounts. After transfer of interest subvention amount to the SRG accounts, request the nodal bank to furnish the details of successful transfer by filling up the last four columns of the report as highlighted. Please inform each SRG about the amount of interest subvention transferred. Block level staff must ensure that the details of interest subvention transferred to each SRG is entered in their minutes book. A report on amount of interest subvention transferred to SRGs may also be shared with village organizations and to the respective bank branch. I hope this demo was useful and clear. Should you have any further queries, please feel free to contact us at the following numbers. Let's join hands for better tomorrow.